a quick video for uh, specifically students in Maricopa uh, at the Maricopa Community Colleges to be able to open permissions in Google Drive. So I'm going to show you three different ways to open permissions. Um, so uh, one, if you need to create a new folder um, before we get there, uh, so you would go to the new, you would go to folder, you would type, you would type in what I like to do is tell students to create a folder for each class. Um, and then there are a couple ways where you can get to the share settings. You could uh, right click on it and go sh and say share. And that will pull up this um, sharing uh, the share settings window. Um, you can also, when it's selected, click share here. Um, and that should also uh, get you to the same place. So um, there's a third way, but this is for a different folder. This is for the one I'm actually in. Um, but I'm going to go here. I'm going to click share. Um, most people think that um, if they just turn on the share share settings, um, that uh, or if they just go into this, that somehow it will open. But you actually have to go to this change link um, and get rid of the Maricopa College District. Um, so for whatever reason, uh, this is um, a default, but it um, doesn't actually work. Uh, so you want to change it to anyone with link. Um, and if you want them to be able to edit the document, you can change them to editor so they can organize and edit it. Um, if you want them just to be able to see it, um, which is what most of the time you're doing, um, unless you're collaboratively writing with someone, you can just keep it viewer. And then you can copy the link and hit done. Um, and that would be how easy it is. And now once you're in there um, and you've got files, um, one of the first things that I have students do is create uh, picture collages in Google Slides. And so when you're actually creating an in a Google Slide um, document or presentation, the share settings are a little different. You can open them in the same way, um, back in the same way as the folder, um, but there's also um, up here in uh, in slides and then if you're in one of the other Google things you can see that they just kind of change the color but the setting um, share settings window ends up being basically the same and if it happens to be shared with specific people you can share with specific people or you can share to anyone with link um, most of the time in my classes I want students to open it to anyone with link um, because uh, because then if I'm having uh, other students look at it or other teachers look at it um, in a class, it makes it easier. And most of the time um, I have students sharing work with other students um, so that they can be seen or posting it to a discussion forum so people can give feedback. So that's really important that you don't just individually share if you're supposed to open up the share settings to anyone with link here can view because it's hard to get feedback. Um, and if people are logging in um, from a different email than uh, the one you've explicitly shared with that can make it a little more challenging so I just like to open it up and it's basically as long as you are the one giving them the link no one else can get access um, and without the link so that's the starting point so you have to make sure to change from Maricopa to anyone with link if you're in the MCCD uh, district that is the uh, long and short of it um, and that is the starting place uh, for most of my students so hopefully that helps